How do you move just certain pages from one Canva design to another? This is a situation that can come up a lot and people think maybe you have to go page by page copying items. No, you don't have to do that. People think, well, if you're a pro user, you can use that resize and switch and then delete the pages you don't want. But there's actually an easier way. It's a way that will work for even for free Canva users. It's a better method. It'll save you time. I'm here to show you how to do it. So we're gonna walk through an example. I'm gonna make sure you understand all the best ways to do this. So let's dive in. In Canva, there's the resize and magic switch. If you want to take a document and resize the whole thing, all the pages to another format, like maybe different page dimensions. But what if you only want to copy some of the pages? What if you're a free user? How can you resize designs then? And how can you only get some pages? Well, there is a really good trick for this. It's super easy, it's super helpful, and there are a lot of situations where you might wanna use this. Let's imagine this scenario. Let's say you've created two different eBooks, and maybe you wanna take some pages from one eBook, some pages from another eBook, and then those are going to a third eBook. Uh, so the specific example I have here on screen is let's say you were a food blogger and you created these recipe books, maybe as giveaways to your audience, maybe even something you sell. But so you have these different scenarios, and so this one is a dessert recipe book, and this one is an Instant Pot recipe book, but there might be recipes within these pages uh, that apply to a different category, and so maybe I'm putting together a third recipe book. So how would I get some of my pages from one design and some of the pages from another design into this third design, another project that I'm working on? Well, what's the most efficient way to do this? Obviously, if you're a Pro Canva user, you could do magic resize and switch, but then that takes everything over. You're just where you started. You're not actually getting anywhere from doing that because you only want to take some of these pages. So how are we going to do this? Well, first, we are going to have to start a new file. So when you use the magic resize and switch, it launches something for you, like a new file format. It's going to automatically pop open in a new pane when you make your selections. But of course, we're not doing that because we don't want all the pages. So let's just start by just click and open a new Canva home screen here. And then on this page, I know I use that magazine format. And in this case, I'm gonna keep the same sizing format. I will talk in a minute, a little later here, about how you would port this to a different size design. But for now, let's just go for the same format. And I know that I use a magazine template for this. So I'm gonna type in magazine. We're just gonna create a blank magazine. So that's gonna be the same dimensions in terms of width and height as these other documents I have here. So now I have this empty project, and then I have these two projects here that each contain pages I wanna copy over. So let's just look at this cover page for a second. Let's say I wanted to just copy this page here. Well, you might know that you can do Control A one on a page to select everything on a page, or you could just you know click and drag everything around the page, and then hit Control C to copy, or you could do right click, copy, and I could go to that blank document to a page and hit paste. The problem is, what happened here? Well, it did copy over the text, but it didn't copy over this image here because if I look at this image here of the recipe that we're seeing here, and I look at position, it's actually a background element. So when you use Control A and you're trying to copy over a page like that from one design to another in Canva, it works for most things, but background elements, it's not gonna pick up. And of course, I do want it to pick up the background elements. And the other issue with this is I just don't wanna go one page at a time. Well, here's the magic trick. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna enter into grid view. So if you're not familiar with grid view, you have this little button at the bottom where if you're working with a multi-page design like this, you can jump into grid view. You can see all your pages. It's super helpful anyways, because you can just drag and reorder pages. So this is a help, super helpful view just to sort of get an overview of your document to begin with. But now this is also gonna be sort of the secret weapon we have when we wanna copy some pages of a design. So let's imagine uh, that I'm gonna take a table of contents, though so maybe I'm gonna change it, but I just wanna use that page as a template. So I'm gonna take that page over, uh, and then I'm gonna take over this recipe here. So I'm gonna use the control key on my keyboard to add to my selection. Now, just for a second, let me just mention, if I clicked one thing and then I shift click, I could select a whole bunch of pages at the same time. If those are pages that are sort of in order here and I wanna you know, select the first one and then select the last one, I could shift click. But let's say I want this page and then the next page I want is maybe uh, these two pages down here, maybe this recipe. 
these two pages are a recipe I want to take over. So instead of shift click in this situation, I'm going to use the control key. Now that's on Windows, you use the control key on a Macintosh, it would be the command key. So I'm going to hit control key and I'm going to select this. And let's imagine I also wanted uh, maybe this recipe uh, right here. So again, control click, select those. Any recipes you want to take over, maybe I want to take over uh, these two pages, control click. So now I have the selection I want. And now I can use the keyboard shortcut, control C to copy. Again, that's on Windows, it would be command C on a Mac. Or you can also right click with your mouse, now that you have this page is selected, and choose copy. Now watch what happens when we jump over to this blank, doc blank document. Of course we have that little bit we brought over, let's just get rid of that. But let's jump into this grid view. Now watch what happens if I either hit Control-V, that's on Windows, Command-V on Mac, or I just right click and now I choose Paste. Watch what happens. We wait a couple seconds, I chose Paste. Let me try that one more time, oh, there it is. Took a couple seconds for it to port it over, but boom, all those pages, only the pages we selected got brought over. So think about how helpful this is in scenarios where you might have multiple documents, or maybe you just have a longer document, but there are a couple pages in it you want to use in something else. Now you can bring them over very easily and you can save a ton of time. Okay, so that was the one recipe book, but we also wanted to grab uh, some other recipes from this recipe book. So again, same thing, we're gonna jump into this view here. And in this case, let's say I want this one here. Maybe I want this one, this one, and then I want this closing page here. But the closing page I'm gonna get back to because let's say I want these three pages to go in a particular order in the new recipe book that I'm putting together. So I'm just gonna hit Control C right now. I'm gonna jump over because I know I want these three pages to go right in here. Well, whatever page you have selected, when you then hit the paste or do that control V, command V to paste, that's where after that page, the new pages are gonna be placed. So if I hit control V now, we're gonna wait a second as it gets ported over and then boom, they get inserted right in there. Now, of course you could reorder pages later. That's really easy to drag and drop here, but why not bring it over in order if it saves you time? Again, I said I also wanted this page, so just go grab it real quick, control C. And then with multiple tabs open like this, it's just so easy to come in here. This one we want to go to the end, control V, paste it in. We had this uh, page that was left over from the beginning, but we can just hit the delete key and get rid of that. And then boom, we're off to this great start with this new document. I can go back in here. I can look at it. I can scroll through the different pages. I can go from thumbnail view to uh, this page view if I want, just very easily. Now we are off to a great start. So this is super helpful. And the key that you just have to remember is you wanna go into this grid view. And then from in this grid view, you can click on a page. You can control or command click to add other pages. Uh, if you have a whole bunch in order, you can use uh, select one and then shift click to select a bunch. And then remember, you're either gonna use that control V, command V, keyboard shortcut, or just right click, copy. Then you're gonna come over to your new document and go, go into the grid view again and then paste it in there. And again, if you know what page you wanted to paste after, select that page and then paste, and it's gonna show up right after that. Okay, so this is super helpful. Uh, but let me talk about now, what if you're porting over to a new design, uh, but maybe right now we were in the magazine format, maybe we wanna do this in a presentation, sort of landscape, wider view. So what about if we're porting something over to a document that has different dimensions? Can we do that? Well, let's give it a try. So let me jump to this page here. We'll just go back to this Canva home screen. Uh, this time we're gonna just do a blank presentation. So we'll click on the presentation button there. We have a new presentation here. Uh, so once again, let's jump over to one of these books here. Let's say we want this page. Let's say we're also gonna copy maybe this one, uh, maybe this one. So we'll grab these three pages. Again, Control C to copy. You could also right click and copy, Command C on Mac. Uh, we're gonna jump over to this new page here, uh, this new, uh, the presentation format and we're gonna jump into grid view and then once again control V to paste There it is. It's ported over. Let's go ahead and click in and look at these pages Now you'll notice it sort of centers things in the screen uh, But this is exactly what's gonna happen when you use this magic resize and switch It's not gonna magically fit everything perfectly and resize elements So you may still have to come in here and do some customization uh, so in other words, it's not perfect. It's not gonna do everything for you, but it's gonna allow you to bring over certain pages But then you can come in here and let's say we want to do this This is just a frame so I could sort of change the crop on this frame So now that we have more space, maybe I'm gonna make it wider like this 
Uh, and so then we can uh, sort of reformat the page as we need. Uh, and then of course, if I was sort of, sort of trying to format these other pages to match, this is where using something like rulers and guides would be helpful. So I'm gonna use Shift plus R on my keyboard to bring up my rulers. So you can also go File, Settings, uh, Show Rulers and Guides, but this Shift plus R keyboard shortcut is really helpful because just you can show hide these rulers. You can just come and drag a guide out from the ruler. So I drag one right out to the edge here where I have the edge of my image. I'm gonna drag another one out here where I want my text to start right there, just to make sure when I go through these other pages, because I'm gonna see the guide on those pages as well, that makes sure I can line up my content. So now I can come in here, I can drag this one, get this one into position, drag it down. We wanna resize the frame to right there. And again, you can come in here and jump into a frame uh, and then zoom out a little bit just so we can see uh, and size things down because we don't want it to be so big in the frame. Uh, so something like that, click out of it. There you go. Again, zoom out if we need. Let's go to this last page here. Let's bring this over. Let's go ahead and size it out. Okay. So again, very easily come in here uh, and set things up. Make sure this is aligned with this guide. So you can very easily come in here and format things and copy just certain pages over to different documents so you can reuse parts of documents in parts of other documents. Uh, so this is really helpful. Uh, now another trick with that grid view is let's go, let's come in here and let's say on this page, or we're gonna put a page number up here and we're gonna want some sort of red square or rectangle behind it. So I'll just hit R on my keyboard to bring up the rectangle. And maybe we're gonna put a page number on there, or you could just click in here and actually add text right in here. So let me just go ahead and put a number one. We could change that number on other pages, but I could come in here right now on this page, make that number significantly bigger. So let's give it a bigger font size. Uh, we'll change the color of that font to something like white. Actually, Control Z, because that was the color of the rectangle, wasn't it? I wanna come in here to change the text color. So let's change that to white. And I've lost my number here. So again, you're gonna make mistakes like this, but let's change that back to one. So it should be one now. Click on the rectangle. Let's make sure we put the rectangle back to red. There we go. And let's size this down just so it's smaller. So something like that. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to point out is, uh, let's say we had a bunch of pages here. So maybe we have other recipes like this, you know, so boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's go back to this first page. We've created this thing here. Uh, you may have noticed before that if you copy and paste any element from one page, Control C, jump to another page. Uh, so let's go to page two, uh, Control V, it pasted it in that exact same position, okay? So this is helpful uh, because you can copy repeated elements like this, even though I may still go in and replace the page numbers, I can copy repeated elements like this. Now let me hit Control Z, uh, but I still copy this, so I sort of have it in my clipboard. Um, but now you can paste it here, but you can also make use of this grid view. I sometimes like to paste in this grid view just because I get a visual representation. So in other words, I can click on this, Control V, Control V. Now you may have wondered, can I click this and click all these pages and hit Control V? No, it's just gonna paste it to the one page. But very quickly, I can just go through this page and boom, boom, boom. And then if I wanna jump in here, I can see the individual pages. Uh, this is one, this is two. So I could come in here, just double click real quick to get in here, two. Uh, go to the next page, double click to get in there, three. Uh, so again, now, do I want Canva to get auto page numbering? Yes, please. That's a feature they don't have yet. And it seems like a very simple one that they could add in. So hopefully they're gonna get that sometime soon. But hopefully you see how this ability to enter a grid view and make copies of certain pages and easily paste them over to another document it's gonna be super, super helpful. So make sure you take advantage of this grid view. It's great for doing uh, copying parts of documents like this, uh, because imagine if you had to do this page by page and select all the elements like this, you're gonna be spending lots of time that you don't need to spend. You just need to come in here, select the pages you want. You want this, you want this, you want this. Make that selection, right click the copy, go into grid view on the ne next page, uh, next document, right click the paste, and you're gonna save a ton of time. You can even paste between uh, different document formats. So you might have one that's a square post and another that's a landscape. You can paste that too. Just remember, then you have to come in and you do have to make some size adjustments, use rulers and guides when it's helpful. Uh, but just like that, it's super easy to make use of pages in one document, 
even just some pages and port them over to other documents. So I hope this is super helpful. If it is, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, the best way to stay up with this channel is subscribing and then turning on notifications so you get a notification when I post a new video. But then I also do send out a free Canva monthly newsletter where I try to provide tons of value talking about all things related to Canva. So if you're interested in that, I'll post a link in the pinned comment down below and also the description of the video. So please sign up for that email newsletter and I look forward to talking to you about more ways you can save time in Canva. Again, thanks for watching this video and I will see you soon.